Did you donate to the Swollen Eye Fund last night? No, I did not donate. I saw that. Very disappointed. Yeah, Baked Alaska was doing his IRL stream last night, and he was with some poor girl. And um, this total psycho, schizophrenic girl, major problems. And like a total, honestly, kind of like a bitch. And he's being so nice to her, and he goes to her trailer park and goes into her trailer. And, and everybody in the stream, in the live chat, is like, oh, she's crazy, she's psycho, leave her, get away from her, whatever. Because she's totally insane. And she's kind of a bitch. And you could tell she's a bitch because Baked Alaska's like complimenting her. Oh, you're so sweet. You're so nice. She doesn't even respond. And and he's like telling her things and it doesn't even, she won't even engage with him. No, I don't know. She's probably having like a mental breakdown or anything. But I mean, that in itself is a problem. But he goes into her trailer and she's doing this like baby voice and she starts singing a song. And then all the people in chat are like, Oh, she's so sweet. I'm crying. This is so sad. Give her money. She's poor. What a poor little thing. Oh. And then Baked Alaska, and this is rookie mistake, rookie mistake. He goes, uh, before, he's about to leave. And I'm thinking, okay, he's getting out of there. He's not getting harmed. No, he's not going to get killed. He's not getting hurt. She's not going to pull a knife on him, you know. And he didn't give her any money. I'm thinking, okay, he's getting out of there clean. Phew. Then he goes, I'm going to give you some money. Let's go. I'll go to the ATM and give you $100. I go, oh, my own. Here we go. Oh, boy. Here we go. So he says, I'll give you $100. I'll, I'll give you some money to help you out with rent. How much is your rent? She says, $800. He goes, how, how much is your rent? I want to help you out a little. She goes, $800. $800? To live in a trailer? To live in a shitty trailer in a trailer park? Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll give you like $100. And then, then the super chats start flowing in. Then, the, then all these white knights and really pathetic losers in chat. Here's $100. We love you. We love you, whatever the whatever name is, Sammy or whatever. We love you. You're so sweet. You're so nice. Uh, now, understand. Oh, I've got so much to say about this. Understand, by the way, never ever, ever give money to people like this. Do not ever give money to people like this. It's always a bad idea, you know? And I'll tell you why. It's because it always turns into codependency or some kind of a black hole. M adding money into the equation ruins everything. You, know, you can be nice to these people. You can try and help these people out, whatever. But you introduce money to the equation, it changes the entire dynamic. Believe me changes the whole dynamic. It's not the same. Don't even bring it up. Don't even mention it. But, and, and so that's from the, that's from the get-go because of course you promise money and then it goes and it snowballs from a hundred to more and then they're asking and then it's like a, you know, and also more than just the money, don't get too involved with these people. There are some people out there that just cannot be helped. People cannot be helped unless they want to help themselves. And frankly, most people are in these situations because they can't help themselves. Most people are in these situations because they've got a major malfunction. They've got some kind of an issue. They can't do it, and you're not going to fix them. And often what happens is they will drag you straight to hell with them. You try to get entangled in these people's lives, and then you can't get away, and then they will ruin your life. They will bring you right down into their madness. And that's why it is, it is good to do these things from a distance. Be charitable, be Christian, don't get me wrong, be generous. But the problem is that proximity, the problem is the entanglement, that codependency, whatever, that is always the issue with that. You know, he's given her his phone number, he's all this kind of stuff, like, it's a problem. So that's just a general rule, that's just a little piece of advice. You never want to do that kind of stuff, unless it's, it's impersonal. You know, you got to think about how you want to do it to avoid that pitfall. But more than that, here's the best part, is everybody on stream one second is shitting on her because she's totally crazy. And then all it takes, she's got this baby voice because she's got daddy issues. Her, her baby voice, she starts singing a song and then everybody, and then literally everybody fucking wallets out. Oh, I'm crying. My heart is melting. Li wallets out. That's all it takes. That's all it takes with some of you people. We've got to toughen up. I mean, seriously. And don't get me wrong. I'm not a. I'm not the man of steel or anything here. It's not. I have a heart and everything. 
But we've got to grow up a little bit. Is that all it takes is some, you know, schizo, bipolar girl singing a song on the guitar and it, oh, here's $500, take all my money. Oh my gosh, I'm a mess, I'm crying. And then Baked Alaska is saying, <coughs> so, so I didn't finish the story. So he finds this crazy girl at a bar and she's psycho. I mean, she's schizophrenic. And he's driving her home. I want to make sure he, she gets home okay. That's fine. That's a nice thing. I want to make sure she gets home okay. That's great. Then he goes in, though. But then he goes into the trailer park. She says she's got a boyfriend. What the... What are you thinking, man? Is she on drugs? What, what kind of situation is that? You have no idea. Then he goes in. He goes into her house. Never go into the house. He goes into the trailer. She's showing her the trailer. He goes, oh, I'm going to give... I'm going to give you some money to help you out. Because everyone in chat is egging him on. Give her money. Give her money. Oh, I'm going to go to the ATM and pick you up some money. Well, then he says he's going to give her money. And then everybody in the chat starts giving donations. Here's $100. Here's $100 more for Sammy. Here's $500 for Sammy. Here's $25 for Sammy. And it goes all the way up. And he's adding it up in his head. And he's saying, okay, well, it's my $100 plus people have donated another whatever, $500. He ends up committing before the stream is over to giving her more than $1,000. Before the stream is over, he ends up committing to giving her $1,000 for her $800 per month rent when he initially committed to $100. Now think about this. He promised to give her $100 out of pocket. Okay, nice guy. But now you got people saying, here's $100, give it to her. Well, does it work like that? Because on YouTube, if you give somebody $100, well, Google takes a 30% cut. So Baked is giving, he's getting $70 out of that in a month because the payout is given at the end of the following month. So he's getting $70 in a month. He's committed $100 to her. It gets better. Then you got taxes. So on average, you figure 25% is what you do to, to roughly estimate your taxes. He's getting $100, so it's $30 in fees, and then whether you deduct the fees or not, then it's a 25% tax on the $100, in which case it's another $25, in which case you're down then to $45, actually in your pocket, or it's down to, uh, well, I guess it would be the same, or I guess it's, you know, it would be 25% um, of the 70 then it'd be a little bit less, or you'd have a little bit more in money, but in any case, you've now committed $100, when you're really only getting $45 in your pocket. So now this, this has snowballed from I'll give you $100 to now you're probably paying her a lot of money out of pocket. Now you're probably paying her, depending on where it ended, I think it was something like $1,100. Maybe now you're paying two, three, four hundred $400 out of pocket. And in any case, and then you're going back there the next day. You're going to the ATM and he said, oh, there's an issue with my card. I can't pull that much money out of my bank account. Then he comes back. Now he's going to come the next day to deliver the money. And it's like the, you just can never, man, look, there's teachable moments, okay? There is a lesson in this. There are many lessons in this. Do not in, get, get involved with people like that. Do not bring up money with people like that. Bad, and, and also count your costs, your, your fees, your taxes. You can never forget stuff like that. Just a word to the wise, okay? And I, you know, I was watching that and I, you know, I'm not negging Baked Alaska. I love Baked Alaska. And so I'm not, I'm not like negging him or anything, but I was watching that like, no, don't give her any money. Do not give her any money. Don't give her any money. And fuck everyone who says any, anything else. Everyone in chat is like, you're a cat boy simp. Oh no, you're pathetic. Because <laughs> I'm in the live chat saying everyone in here is pathetic. You're all simps. You're all disgusting. You fucking, you know, people open up their wallets because she sang for five minutes and turned the bimbo voice on. And everybody's replying, oh, you're a simp for cat boys. Oh, this and that. And I'm in chat screaming, no, no money. Don't give her any money. Do not give her money. He wouldn't listen. So I don't know if he ended up giving her any money, but... Oh, it's uh, shaking my head the whole time. I'm thinking, what are you doing, man? You can't... People, but that's all it takes for some of you nibbas, man. Like, oh, I'm a little... I'm a girl. I'm going to play a little song. I'm going to do my baby voice. And literally, it's wallets out. Oh, it's so frustrating. It makes me so mad. Why are people like this? And I get... I mean, I don't... And I, like, I... Okay. Like, I get it. I mean, I get it. There's like a, 
there's some like instinct in all men's brains that we see like a damsel in distress, even on a live stream. And there is like our lizard brain says, oh, I must provide for her. Like I, I get it on some level, but you just can't give into that. I mean, you have just got to steel yourself. Okay. You have got to toughen up. You need these steel iron hands. You need titanium hands when, when it comes to this stuff, when it comes to your money, when it comes to e-girls, I mean, you can't be one. You, oh, I, now I'm crying. I'm this is so sad or whatever. We've got to get real, man. You got to get real. You got to get real for crying out loud. Got to get tough. But some people are not. I mean, some people are just very. It's like that guy Nixonist on Twitter. Some people are just like I don't even know, man. They're just babies. Goo goo gaga nibbas be like, well. I'm empathetic or something. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, I've seen a lot, okay? I'm 22 years old. I've seen it all now. But, I, but I've but i seen it. I've seen enough. I've seen enough to know that's a bad... And as if Baked hasn't, you know, learned his lesson with Ashton Witty, right? I, mean, I don't know if that's a low blow or not, but it's like, come on! Can we not see the parallels here? But... That's all it takes. A girl plays a nice little song and you're like, oh, you forget that she's a total hardcore schizophrenic psycho who five minutes ago, she's talking about being gang stalked and her like high school nemesis from 20 years ago is trying to ruin her life. And she thinks that the text to speech speaker is a robot who is the manifestation of her high school rival's consciousness trying to destroy her life. Or something. She's got to have one, one of her eyes is closed for... God knows why. It's a pink guy. It's a, she get punched. I don't even know what. And people forget that. People forget all of that because she turned on the bimbo voice and sang a song for five minutes. Oh, oh my gosh. That's so sad. I'm literally crying. Oh, bros. This is so sad. Bros. Frowny face emoticon. Oh, will you just grow up? Some of you guys need to get your ass kicked and it shows. Anyway. I tell you, man, I tell you, it's not easy. It's not easy being, uh, it's not easy being me. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I understand the schizo thing's kind of hot, actually. The bipolar thing, don't get me wrong, it's kind of hot, but you just have to resist it. Yeah, trust me, we all get it, but you have to resist it. Don't get me wrong, kind of hot. But you have to resist it, okay? We can, we can at one, we can at once say, yeah, okay. You know, kind of hot. Like, I get the appeal. But at the same time, <laughs> everyone in the chat, question mark, WTF. <laughs> okay, look. All right. I get it. Like, even Kathy Zhu, okay? Look, even with Kathy Zhu, I kind of get it a little bit. People are like, but Kathy Zhu's crazy. It's kind of part of the appeal. Look, I understand, okay? I understand. But, um... But we also have to, but you have to be like totally hardcore. You have to be totally hardcore and straight edge and tough mentally. So, anyway. <laughs> maybe some people get it, maybe some people don't. Whatever. <laughs> Based yandere respect. Yeah, that's what it is, right? I'm telling, I tell it like it is. I only tell the truth, lobbyists. But yeah, I mean, Kathy Zhu, that's kind of like the appeal, right? But she's crazy. But she's stone cold crazy. And you know, yeah, and okay. Anyway, but that's but it's not. But we're, it's not about me. We're not talking about me. I don't. I don't pay girls money. I don't. I've never given a girl money ever, ever. I have never given a girl money. A streamer, a friend, anything like that. It's never happened. So. So anyway, but we're so we're not talking. Let's not. We're not talking about me. We're not talking about Kathy Zhu. You guys are always bringing her up. You guys are always talking about Kathy Zhu. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs>